Welcome to Martha's Kitchen. What are you cooking today, Martha? I'm not cooking anything, but I am making something. I'm going to be making Russian tea mix. Some people call it friendship tea, but in the 1960s with the space exploration and all, and the astronauts drinking Tang, and yes, guess what? You can still find Tang in Wegmans. All of my ingredients today came from Wegmans, not a sponsor. But Russian tea is something that my mother always made in the flu season, cold and flu season of the winter months because if you drink the hot tea, it's supposed to ward off illness. And I guess they thought, well, Russians live in the snow and drinking hot tea over there, they never seem to be sick. But we don't want to talk about Russians right now, what's going on in the U Ukraine. So we'll call it friendship tea for the purposes of this video. But my recipe is going to say Russian tea on it. I have improved it over the years. It's not the same that my mother made in the 1960s because I have some health ingredients added to it. I'll show as we go along. But you're going to start off with dry ingredients. I don't have a bowl big enough to mix it in. So I'm going to use my stew pot. First thing we're going to put in is I've got some instant tea mix. This one happens to be heavy. This one happens to be peach flavored. Uh, most of these containers, we're going to save the plastic ones. We're going to save these back too because I've got I've got uh, the glass mason jars over here that I'm going to use for people that I'm going to gift it to, and I'm going to save back like my little tank plastic containers because that's what I'm going to store here for my husband. He enjoys a hot a hot cup of tea after he's worked all day out in the cold. So we're going to save your containers, even these, to see how much I have. I've done the math and I've got almost uh, 600 ounces here when you add up all the ingredients that I have, and that's going to make 18 quarts. And I've got 12 quarts that I got picked up at Wegmans today, brand new glass jars. And that way um, I'll have 12 to gift and six to keep. So I'm also saved the little scoops because this basically is a serving size. What you'll do is you'll have uh, one mug full of hot water. This will hold 12 ounces. And you're going to put at least three to four tablespoons, or you can use a scoop full if you have the scoop gifted to you or held back in your junk drawer. Let's start off, let's dump in our ingredients. Let's go with the peach tea first. I probably should use the, I'm gonna put, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put the exhaust pad on because the little powder is gonna go everywhere. Next, I've got one container. Let me just get the scoop out of the way. It's the Gatorade lemon lime flavor. That's gonna go in. Woo, stand back when I dump that. <laughs> I've got two containers of green tea with honey. Save the scoopers. Green tea. Woo. Another green tea. Woo. Gotta move some of these out of the way. I've got three containers of lemonade, just regular lemonade. Another scooper. Oh, this takes me back. Smelling these little powdered mist. <laughs> Smells like my childhood. God, it looks like I'm cooking meth or something in here, doesn't it? <laughs> The three lemonades in. Let me move the containers out of the way. I've got Country Time Pink Lemonade, two. Yeah, yeah you finish peeling the label off these little plastic ones. These are great for saving and storing it. This is the second pink lemonade one. Did I not start that one? Hold on a second, I need a little knife. There we go. Move that out the way. Is he told him to trick mom yet? Hey, puppy. I don't know if he should be in here breathing that. I have a whole five pound bag of sugar. It's gonna go in. I'm at the halfway mark, so before I go with the tang, that would probably fit in here, which as you can see, I'm almost full. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this point and we're gonna mix it together here. 
this together really well. And then I'm going to share it into the, I'm going to share what happened to the other pot and finish mixing things that way. Because it won't be so heavy for me to lift it. You know, I'm a teetotaler, but it's perfectly well that you can take a hot, a hot serving of your friendship or Russian tea and you can add a little bourbon to it and you can sit outside by the fire pit. Way down here to the bottom. Boy, it's a deep pocket. Here we go. What my little puppy's fussing about over there? We finally got some rain, so they're confined to the indoors today, except to go outside and do their little business. Obviously, I wouldn't be cooking. I got to get down in here with my hand. I can't get the spoon down in there. There we go. There we go. I can't do it with my hands. Got fit bit on it. Hold on. Perfect. All right. That smells good. It doesn't have the best part in yet. That's the spices. Let me wash my hands real quick. Be right back. Bring the second pot over. Move half over into the other pot. Yeah, here we go. Gotta change hands. I hands tired. in the bowl. Oh, let's see. Even, even. Pretty even. One more cup. There we go. Alright. On my spoon. In the interest of chemistry, to make sure that I have equal parts, this and this container, I might have had what was the first item that we put in here, the peach tea. There might have been some at the bottom that I didn't quite get stirred in good enough. Cause So we're going to take another cup of this, put it to the back side, take a cup of this from the front, put it in here. There we go. Back side here. Back over here. Come up here. Back over here. There we go. That thoroughly incorporated. I should have started with the two pots to begin with. I should have strong enough to stir it all the way down to the bottom. All right. I'm wash my hands real quick, sorry. Right. Into the good stuff. We go to spices. Now we're going to separate them between the pots. I've got two cinnamon, so we're going to put one in each. One go in one pot, one can go in the other. Just ground cinnamon. That way we know we're equal. Don't think I got two of them. Yeah, here we go. Now, and then on the spoon. Get this out. I'm working with uh, ground ginger now. Unless we won't fit. 
We need a baby spoon. We need a baby spoon. Let this one sit. Here we go. Here we go. Gonna put half in one, half in the other. And then we'll put the other half over here. Second ginger got pushed back there. There we go. Put a half there. Cloves. Cloves. Half and one. Half and another. And this is your. Pumpkin pie spice. There's no pumpkin in it. It's just ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. Just half and one. Put half and one. Almost. One more. And the other half over here. Perfect. It's nice to have a bottle of that. I'm going to mix that together. This makes really nice handmade Christmas gifts. If they ever bought all the supplies for it, they'd realize it's an expensive gift, especially with my little surprise items that I add to it over here in just a minute. Okay. Here we go. I haven't got to the tang yet. I'm going to put in my specialties first. Uh, from Wegmans, I've got collagen powder. In case you want to buy it. There you go. Half in one, half in the other. I could use a bigger spoon on this one. Here we go. Another half over here. That's a nice container to save that. For you. And. Probiotics. The lemonade flavor. So not only are you getting immune boost from the different uh, spices and the lemons and the orange and, and to the, the tea mixes here, but you're getting collagen for your skin and you're getting probiotics for your digestion. That's half. There you go. You move some of these out of the way here. Stir that in. still catching the COVID every now and then. This will make you feel really good when you're feeling bad with your COVID or your flu or whatever ailment you've got, or even just to boost your immune system so you don't get sick. Or if you do get sick, you don't get really sick. That's dirty. Beautiful. Looking perfect. Now here comes an old-fashioned ingredient. Here's your tank. 
I know you can find it. I told you I found mine at Wakeman's. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight containers, so four per pot. One. Save your containers back. Put your mix in it. Two. Russian tea. Friendship tea. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to move this out the way. Obviously, I'm going to stir this pot better and incorporate all the ingredients before I put it in my containers to, to gift or to keep. But in the interest of time, oh, that's messy. Jar, my funnel. If you finish stirring this one, I'm going to have fun cleaning up. It'll look like the powder went everywhere. I'm going to have to dust down my air fryer, my cake up, all of it. I hope the chihuahua is okay. Y'all turn orange while the little powder drifting around. You okay, babies? Scooper, pack it up. Ooh. Okay, now serving size are you gonna? It's it's a personal taste thing. You can either put anywhere from two to four tablespoons in your ten to twelve ounces of water in your mug. You can heat up the water in the microwave. You can heat up the hot water if you've got the hot water. Uh, instant hot water on your sink, or if you've got a cake up, or you boil it on top of the stove like we used to do in the olden days. Almost finished. Yeah. Kind of fun to make. Messy. I'm just going to fit in that thing. Just tap it down, settle it down. A little bit more. I'll, I will put a label on it as to what it's what it is. I'll, I'm gonna call it Russian tea when I put my label on it. I'll include a recipe with it and instructions for serving size. Beautiful. We always give it to our builders. They give my business all throughout the years. Electrician. There it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll make it for yourself and I hope everybody stays healthy.